Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case Study of Romance, Case 5, Death by Design. Let's all our America copy Paris number 5. Well, Katrina, I didn't know a cat could inherit a fashion empire. Honestly, I don't condone violence, but I understand Simone and Major's angry in reaction to Pills of change his will. Yes, I'm sure she didn't see that coming. To be fair, who would have? And speaking of that cat, what's your bell home just called? He says your cat's still missing. Well, we already got a suspect at the top of our list of possible catnappers. We gotta ask Simone about this. Katarina, I'd like your help with something when you've got time. Is it about your brother? Sure, Gary. We'll grill Simone about the cat, and Katarina can come see you. Let's go, Katarina. Did you put cat somewhere? Madame Le Mage, where is Choquette? I am in prison. How do you expect me to know the whereabouts of that ridiculous animal? Well, she went missing before you were arrested. You must understand our strong suspicion that if she was kidnapped, it was your doing. Yes, but while I was aware of the changes Charles meant to make to his will, I was not aware that the changes had already been made. Had I known that he succeeded in signing his estate and the company owed that creature, what would be the point of killing him? That is some cold logic, but you do have a point. I can tell you that the last I saw a Choquette, she was whining for food at the fashion show. Hmm, yes, that's where Monsieur Berhol said he last saw her as well. Good luck finding her, Detective Katerina. The cat is worth a fortune now. Detective Katerina, the Grand Palais is our next stop. Yeah. Let's go to Carrie now. Katrina, I hope to see my brother Cody at the Chore Fashion Show, but he wasn't there. Later though, I got a text message from an unknown number. The message said, La Vie en Rose. What's that supposed to mean? I put the number into the database, but it belongs to a prepaid phone, so I got no other info from it. La Vie en Rose is the name of the finish where the after party would have been, and since Eleanor told us Cody was at the dress rehearsal for the show, I'm sure he knew about the after party. I believe the message was from Cody trying to tell me to meet him at the finish. Now, it's true that I don't know what kind of stuff he's been mixed up in all these years. Katrina, it would be a good idea for me to have backup when I go to see him. I'd like you to come with me. Alright, I'll come with you. Now, let's head to the La Vie en Rose. Alright. Mm, let's go look for the cat first. Here's the cat food. Bien vous, Katrina. Good eye. That's Choquette's cat food. Whenever the cat never took Choquette, they must have taken some of her food too, to keep her quiet. Let's collect the sample from the bag to see if they left behind any traces. Okay.
All right, now let's go to Padish. Slow glow with Statue of Liberty. So, Katria, here we are with the Peniche, Lavienne, and Rose. But I don't see anyone else around. What is that you found? A slow glow? I was surprised. It's a touristy part of town. What's in it? An Eiffel Tower or something? It's a Statue of Liberty. Oh, it's a Statue of Liberty. And that's the New York skyline behind it. That's definitely not from around here. Katria, the snow globe must be a clue from Cody. And it looks like there's something etched into the globe. Let's recover the text. Okay. Mm. Alright, first let's collect something from the cat food bag. Well, some food we, we're gonna collect. Great, Katrina. Now let's get some from Shoketa's food back to the lab for testing. Okay. Alright, now let's dust the snow globe. to the snow globe says we'll always have Paris. Hey, that's a line from Casablanca. Oh. Growing up, Casablanca was one of our favorite movies. Katria, this is definitely a clue from Cody. We know he's in Paris, hence the reference to meeting in Paris. But why the Statue of Liberty? I know the Statue of Liberty was a gift from the French to the United States celebrating freedom and democracy after the American Civil War. But I don't think that helps us here. We we'll have to consult someone on the team with historical expertise. Probably Jean Philippe. Alright, let's hand the snow globe to JP then. What's in the cat food sample? There is something interesting. Enzo, did you find anything unusual in the sample Katria took from Shoketsu's food bag? Anything that might point to her catnapper? Yes, actually. There was a residue of ground up sleepy pills mixed with the cat food. Whoa, sleepy pills. Sleeping pills? That sounds like something our catnapper would use. The next question is, did the catnapper leave behind any other traces of themselves when they ground up the pills and mixed them with the food? Actually, they did. I found traces of missile of water soaked into the powdered sleeping pills. Missile of water is commonly used to remove makeup, so my guess is that it came from one of the models. Noemi! One of the models? Oh no, Katarina. Do you think Noemi kidnapped Shoket as revenge because Pilsenfeld trapped her in that exclusive contract? I suppose the only way to find out is to ask Noemi. I sure hope she's innocent. I was looking forward to asking her out when we wrapped up this case. Uh, seems like she's not going to be innocent at all. Alright, now the message of the snow globe. Jean-Philippe, what can you tell us about the snow globe Katria found at the Pediche? It's a message from my brother, right? I'm inclined to say yes, but I can't say for sure. The reference to a movie you both love and your country of origin are both strong indicators that it's from your brother. 
The problem is, it doesn't give me any further information. Well, I wouldn't write it off so quickly. He already sent you one message indicating a meeting point, correct? Yes, and near the Paniche where we found the snow globe. So now we have to go to New York if it's the Statue of Liberty? Not at all. There's a smaller version of the Statue of Liberty here in Paris, at Pont de Grenelle. Further down river from the Paniche, in fact. Oh wow, that means the snow globe is another message telling me where to meet him. Katarina, I can't believe I'm about to see my brother for the first time in 11 years. Come on, Katarina. Let's go find my brother. Okay, here we, here we go. But first, let's go to Noemi. Where is Choquette? Mademo uh, Noemi. Choquette has gone missing and we are tasked with finding her. Now, we don't believe you had any malicious intentions towards the cat. But we did find some of your makeup remover and some sleeping pills mixed into her food. Oh yes, I put sleeping pills in her food, but I didn't kidnap her. The loud music and flashing lights at the fashion show made her very anxious, and Charles was distracted by his work, so I gave her a little something to relax. But Charles took her to the Panish after the show. She must still be there. Jeremy said he looked all over the Panish and couldn't find her anywhere. I'll let you in on a little secret, Detective Katarina. Jeremy is good at one thing and one thing only. Styling. I bet he walked right by Choquette without even noticing she was there. Okay, thank you for your help, Noemi. Katarina, let's take another look around the Peniche, and let's get something to eat on the way. Ah, oh, Jeremy, you weren't even good at looking. Alright, the moment of truth. Cody, is that you? Carrie, oh wow, it's been forever. Hmm, brother, sister, love. I can't believe you're here, sis. Of course I'm here. I spent all these years worrying about you. When I got your postcard telling me not to come looking for you, I knew I had to. I knew you were too inquisitive to follow that order, and you clearly caught my clue about rats and pigeons because you tracked me right to Macaron. Yes, and Teddy Katria and I know enough about Macaron to know he's bad news. What are you mixed up in, Cody? I'm in over my head with Macaron's gang, Carrie, and I need you to help me and Eleonora get out. What? Are you and Eleonora together? Yes, but we shouldn't talk too much here. I already feel better knowing we're in touch. Okay, I understand. Cody, it is so good to see you. I love you. Love you too, sis. The dead Katrina, I'll signal you and Carrie when the time is right. In the meantime, keep your head on the swivel. And here's a little donation for the department. Oh my gosh, she's so sweet. Meow, meow, where did you go? Let's go back to the Peniche. Shoket, where are you? Yeah. 
23. There's a cat carrier. And Shoket is inside. Can you get the lock open? Okay. I will get it open. All right, let's get you out. I hope she's not too aggressive. Got you out. Affordable, Katarina. We got the carrier open, and it looks like Shoket is doing just fine. Well, we should probably not fight Jeremy so he doesn't wind up looking all Paris for her. Okay. Here we go, here's the cat. Dr. Katarina, you found Shoket. What a relief. Yes, now Shoket Khan can get started learning the ropes of running a fashion brand. True, there is a small matter of deciding how to proceed from here. But the chore board of directors is considering V for chief designer. I'm so excited! Fantastic news! Congratulations! And now I'm curious, what's happening to Shoket? Trust the sisters will come to pick her up very soon. No worry, she'll be in good hands. And as a thank you for finding Choquet, the Katrina, here's a chore brooch. It's a limited edition for VIPs, and it was the last thing to be designed by Charles. Ugh, oh, a chore brooch. Katrina, I can't believe we found my brother after all these years. The last I saw him, he was 15 years old. He's so grown up now. And he's in some real grown up trouble, getting wrapped up in Macaron's dealings. Yes, the second you hear anything from him, Katarina, you jump on it. Definitely, we gotta help Cody, and he could be our key to finally taking Macaron down. Yes, but you also got to be careful, Katarina. Cody's been here working with Macaron for a while. We gotta make sure him getting in touch with you isn't one of Macaron's schemes. And speaking of harm's way, Katarina, we just got an anonymous tip about an animal smuggling ring at the Popotti Rogue in Montmartre. Oh, I always wanted to go to the Popotti Rouge. I can't wait. Did I pronounce it right? Rouge? Whoa, whoa. What the heck? How did you die? That looks like a slave, but the, then the green coloring of the background looks like he or she is in a tube of some sort. In a tank. Attraction. <laughs> okay, we are done with fashion, we are done with fantasy, now we are going to... Attraction. <laughs> All right, we gotta stop here. We gotta continue playing in case number six in Paris. So, why did I say Paris? <laughs> in attraction. <laughs> All right, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like to this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye.